Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Tanaka with a WBZ News update. Another day with no school for thousands of students on the North Shore. Teachers in Gloucester, Beverly and Marblehead remain on strike despite making some progress in negotiations. Yesterday, those teachers took their fight to the steps of the State House, urging lawmakers and the governor to help them reach a resolution. The former head of the state police unit, which investigated Karen Reed, is facing discipline. Detective Lieutenant Brian Tully being docked six days of accrued leave, which is basically vacation days. I-team sources tell us Tully's being punished for failing to supervise troopers involved with inappropriate text messages during the case. A health warning involving toothpaste made here in New England. According to the FBA, an inspection of Tom's of Maine facility in Sanford turned up several violations this year. Now, some of the toothpaste was made with water containing bacteria and that can cause infections in the blood and lungs. The FDA also says a black mold like substance was found in the factory where the product was made. Tom's of Maine says it's working with the FDA to fix those issues. All right, time now for a check of your next weather forecast and a next weather alert with meteorologist Jason Michael. Oh, all of our viewers are very excited, Chris, as we're finally talking about some rain to move back in. Our next weather alert is not for the dry conditions today or tomorrow. It's going to be because of the rain as well. What we do know is showers will start light tomorrow morning through about midday. They start to increase in terms of intensity that carries over to about 5 a.m. to uh, excuse me, 5, 5 p.m. to about 7 p.m. with some lingering showers possible in some areas, but not all winds will be gusty tomorrow as well. So that could also ignite some poor visibility by the time we get to Friday afternoon, another round of rain is going to be sort of imminent and moving back in again. And even on Saturday morning, we'll still be talking about some lingering showers. But look at the top of the crest roughly around the uh, 2 p.m. hour tomorrow, and it begins to titrate back down roughly in the overnight Thursday night into early Friday. Look at this. A clash of cloud cover moves in and really takes over the Worcester Hills roughly around midnight tonight. There are the rain chances beginning to increase. And again, by mid morning, friends, this could be really heavy at times, limiting visibility. And because we also have the wind it's going to be wind driven rain as well. Lingering scattered showers possible as we head towards the afternoon hours through about the drive at 5, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Start to work in a little bit of drier air. But as far as rainfall forecast, OK, we're averaging anywhere between a half inch in some of the lighter areas up to an inch and a half with some isolated amounts must be around, possibly around two inches or so. Cloud cover develops today it will be around 56 degrees or so around 40 degrees, not as cold overnight tonight. And as we look here, we start to work in even more a, a, a colder weather. Mid and upper levels will actually be near freezing. And as you can imagine, up the spine of Appalachia, we really start to turn on the faucet. Tapping into that milder air, cruising right along the Great Lakes. So we have much colder air in the mid and up, also the upper levels. So it will precipitate in terms of scattered snow showers. And it could be several inches in several areas here across the Keystone State and also upstate New York. Meanwhile, this is our second round of rain developing in the afternoon through about the drive at five for us on Friday. Saturday, we have some lingering showers as the low begins to pull away. Most of the area will be drying out by Saturday afternoon into the evening hours and Sunday opens opens up chilly in the mid 30s, low 30s by Monday, still dry 50s on tap both Sunday, Monday and Tuesday with Tuesday carrying with it. Sun and few clouds, but also another spot shower chance. Mm. All right, Jason, this has been a WBC News update. I'm Chris Tanaka. Enjoy your day.